Donnie Road, 412 Madison Street. In regards to items number 70 and number 90, beginning in October of 2011, and too many times since then to count, I had suggested to this council the need to amend certain provisions of the Municipal Code of the City of Tampa. I further suggested that you begin then, start early, and not wait unnecessarily or indefinitely for input from the CIA, the Secret Service, or Carmen San Diego. Instead, you chose to wait, do nothing, and now this morning you have for first reading before you a, a proposal that almost does not rise to the level of being unacceptable. It contains an elongated whereas clause that supposedly includes recognitions and findings by this body that fails to mention one word about the Bill of Rights. Suggested and urged upon you now is to amend at least this portion of it to include language that might include words to these effects. Whereas it is the policy of the city of Tampa, its government, its people, its employers, and their employees that the rights of free speech, assembly, and expression are among those most cherished, frequently exercised, and dearly held by citizens of this city, the state of Florida, and the United States. Semicolon, next layer of baloney. Whereas, the demonstration and enforcement of this policy does benefit and should be witnessed by persons attending the convention, persons engaged in nearby activities surrounding the convention, as well as others who will witness these events from afar from, through various means of media services such as television, radio, print media, and internet discussion forums. Semicolon, and then so on with the baloney that you already have in there. By omission, inadvertence, and neglect, the city has accidentally revealed its true intentions and focus. This is about money, this is about privilege, and contrary to the mayor's hollow and meaningless statements to the contrary, it is about business as usual at City Hall. The proposed ordinance in its current form is a downgrade from previous administrations. Your Section 9 deals with obstruction of sidewalks and placement of items on public property. As I've said before, there is no definition for obstruction there. There's a no mask provision in this proposal. However, under the, the, the current status of this thing, the mayor will be wearing his Richard Dick Daly mask, the chief of police will be wearing her Bull Connor mask, and each of you will be wearing a dunce cap. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 